All right then, players. Hopefully you can uh, hopefully you can hear me. This is Rage Master uh, playing Space Engineers and demoing out uh, this drilling platform, which I'm calling the Poseidon drilling platform, uh, mainly because it's using the uh, the Trident drill system that I established in the previous YouTube vid. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out. But it's probably irrelevant if you're watching this video. I'll be able to demo everything you see uh, in this one. It's going to be a quite a long video because a full drilling process does take about 45 minutes. Um, ultimately the goal is to automate the process so you can land, press one button, leave the drill rig to do something else and then come back to an enormous hole and lots of ore in your inventory. So without further ado I'm just going to um, give you a quick tour. Um, the drill setup is actually on a hinge system so you can tilt it back when you drive in or flying. Uh, obviously it's a wheeled vehicle so you can get into position using flight mode but then uh, make the minor, uh, minor adjustments to get over the oar using the wheels. Um, I've got sort of a control system at the top here like a, what do you call it, a control area. The word escapes me right now, a sort of bridge. Um, I haven't really finished, finished it at all but this is mainly so I can demo the concept to you guys so I'm just going to go get into the flight seat and we can fly this baby over to the uh, the lake and I can show you basically the objective today is to show you guys how you can move relocate and set up and drill with the uh, with the same platform so let me just uh, remember how to play this game there we go We're going to go for that dark patch just in the centre there, whatever's there we'll try and claim it. Uh, yeah. So we're going to bring it to a stop. We're going to cut the thrusters. Not a bad place to stop, we're going to stop it right there. So the first uh, first action once you go into position is to bring the wheel offset up so your uh, landing gears touch the floor, we're going to do that now. Yep, so we're going to lock that in place now. And for the purposes of setting up the drill, I'm going to go up to the top now. You could do it from the cockpit, but it's probably a better view from up here, so let's take a look. Seems these landing gears are already unlocked. Those should have been locked during flight mode for a bit of extra safety, but um, it's just one less process for us now. 
we should be able to tilt the uh, drill hinge at this stage we turn the drills on as well So, we've got the drill uh, in its upright position now. You can see how it transfers this the ore into the main hold. Just basically just chucks it out the top there. Catches it with some, um, some collectors. And this next bit we can go to the... We'll go back to the cockpit for this next bit. I've got the cockpit set up so you've got a nice view to the floor there. Next thing we're going to do is unlock the, uh, the piston stack. So that's done. I'm going to activate the rotation on the drill head now. Once it's uh, performed a couple of rotations like this, we'll be able to send it down. Perfect speed I found for drilling, um, and it's in the in the Trident standard position is like one 0.12. So I mean to be on the safe side, put it at 0.1. 0.1, it's good, it's good. So if we hit reverse on that now. Oh. 0.01. <laughs> there we go. It's more like it. And that's basically all you need to do. So yeah, this is uh, specifically for um, one of the commenters on YouTube, well not specifically for them, but uh, they did mention that they didn't have much faith that I could send it down the hole, because I didn't do it in the last video. But it does take 45 minutes to reach depth, which is my main reason why I just wanted to do an 8 minute video last time. Uh, obviously, you could make it slower, you could make it quicker. I think we should reduce, I'm still playing with the speed of the pistons, so I think maybe reducing it to 0.1 is probably a good idea. Yeah, I think I started the drill off a little bit too quickly to begin with. I might need to actually hand chisel that floating voxel there. But, um, that doesn't really mean the idea is bad. It just means it needs a little bit of tweaking. We'll see how it handles it. Well, that's doing its thing, I'll show you around. got some docking ports there, I was going to have an extending uh, uh, welder on that side, and the, oh, I've already got the welder grinder on this side, that was going to be an extending connector port. We've got some stone ejection at the back here, obviously that's not working because we're drilling ice. Um, I'll show you the, for the full interior now. So you've got um, four refineries, two on each side space for upgrades if you want. Uh, there's also arc furnaces for a faster processing of your metal ore. 
back end of the ship contains all the uh, all the vital gear, oxygen tanks, grab gens, etc. Hydrogen tanks, jump drives. If you want to go elsewhere in the system, uh, the programming block. It's going to uh, integrate M Master's HUD as I normally do with my creations. Um, I haven't got around to doing that just yet. Well, while that's drilling out, we're going to destroy this, um, this drone spawning zone over here. Alright, no more dr no more drone attacks, looks like we're good to go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thought I had it in creative mode. There we go, back on the ship. No catastrophic failures yet, no uh no vibrations. We're not going to have time to demo it in this video, but I did touch on the last one. Is you'll notice that there's rotors, which means uh, you can actually twist these arms on the side outwards to get more of a surface area for when you're drilling down. The idea is you drill a pilot hole like this, bring the drill back up to the top, put a little bit of angle on each of the uh, each of the side pistons, send it back down again. Uh, on the last video as well, I did mention that you can build things like perfectly spherical caverns. Uh, what else can you build? You can build um, spiral ramps down. It's all possible with this uh, rotating drill design. It's also worth uh, mentioning again, those pistons stretch out as well, so your total drilling area will actually... Would, you could actually make a hole that goes all the way up to the wheels of this, uh, this refinery. So I've got like little hand, little hanger sort of landing bays. I've got two hangers at the bottom as well for this craft. Um, as I say, I still really haven't finished this design. Just mostly just to tell you guys about the concepts and that it is possible. In fact, if there's anybody out there that's really good at programming blocks, stuff like that, maybe you guys could work with me to to get a, some sort of automated system for this drill. I mean, that's ultimately where I want to take it, but there's no way I'm going to do that by myself. <laughs> yeah, any offers of help, just hit me up on the Keen forums, or leave me a comment on the YouTube, or uh, find me on Steam. I'd be more than happy to have anybody to help me out with this thing. Down to the stone layer now. So it's slightly off position on the nickel, but looks like we might get a little bit of magnesium with the first pass, potentially.
looks like we've hit magnesium now. Bugged out camera view there, isn't it? Good for detecting underground base. 